This orange Cuisinier rod represents the whole. Here are 175 cans of food represented by the purple rod. Here are 219 cans of food represented by the green rod. As you can see, the green rod is bigger than the purple rod because 219 is greater than 175. My model shows that I found the hole by joining the purple rod and the green rod. Now I will draw my strip diagram. First, I know I'm looking for the hole. I draw a line to represent the hole. I write a question mark because the hole is unknown. Then, I draw the 175 cans that were collected on Monday. I write my quantity and I label it. Then I draw the 219 cans that were collected on Friday. I write my quantity and I label it. Then I use a bracket or an arrow to show that I joined both parts to find the hole. To find C, the total number of cans collected. Now I can use my strip diagram to write my equation. 175 plus 219 equals C, the total number of cans collected. Here is Mario with 55 cans of food represented by the blue rod. Here is Elizabeth with 17 cans of food represented by the purple rod. Her rod is smaller than Mario's because 17 is less than 55. My model shows that Mario has more cans than Elizabeth. This space is the difference between the number of cans that Mario brought and the number of cans that Elizabeth brought. Now let's draw the strip diagram. First, I draw Mario's 55 cans. I write the quantity and I label it. Then I draw Elizabeth's 17 cans. I write the quantity and I label it. Next, I draw a line to show how many more cans Mario brought than Elizabeth. I label this section C for cans. Finally, I write an equation to figure out the value of C, the difference. I can use my strip diagram to help me write that equation. 17 plus C gives me the whole which is 55. To figure out C, I can say 55 minus 17 equals C.